back to Plant Mamacita. So in today's video, we are going plant shopping at Home Depot. I have kind of been out and about this morning and going around to my local nurseries. And I am right next to a really good Home Depot. Oh, a really good Home Depot that I haven't been to in a long time. So I want to go check it out. And, you know, it's been forever. So let's go ahead and go on in because I want to take y'all with me. Alrighty guys, so check it out. These are plants that they haven't taken off the rack yet. So here we have some aglionemas. It looks like Chinese evergreen for $29.98. It looks like it's the silver bay. And then same on the top. And then over here they have some regular green ZZ plants. And some snake plants. And these are for $14.98. They're potted in white um, plastic pots. And then down beneath, we have some philodendron birkin. And these are just like the trending tropicals. And in their hanging houseplant section, they have a whole bunch actually. So we have some things to go through, yay! So here, first off, we have a Peperomia japonica. This one is pretty interesting. It has some um, veining going on as well, if you can look really closely. And then next to it, we have a Tratoscantia plant. Very beautiful. It has the green foliage with the purple undersides. And then over here, we have a nerve plant. It's a Fetonia. And then down beneath, we have a humongous rabbit's foot fern. It is just huge. Look at the little feet. <laughs> and then we have a philodendron Brazil here. Looking closely at this one though, it looks like a silver stripe. It could be, because look how white that stripe is. And how this leaf, I'm gonna try to show it to you. Or even like this one compared to the yellow. So this might actually be a mixed pot. Even this leaf here. It's just so creamy, let me see. See the comparison? Ooh, this is a gem. I think it may be mixed with Philodendron Rio. Wow! Oh my god, I'm t tipping it over. <laughs> That's really cool! I'm actually really excited that I found that. <laughs> um, and these pots go for $19.98. Whoa, so they're up to $20, you guys, the 8 inch hanging pots. <clears throat> oh, and I forgot, up top they have more, they have more rabbit's foot fern. And then they have this docktail cactus as well. They actually have quite a few of these. And these are $14.98. Here's another Japonica. Another Brazil. Now I'm like looking super close at all of these because they might actually be cream splash variegated. Cause even this one has like this leaf here. And then this leaf over here on this plant. And right here. That's so cool. Oh, and then back here we have a Peperomia chair drop. And then back here are the succulents. These are the fun hunting plants. That one looks cool. String of buttons. Well, I saw um, the, yeah, look, the spearfish or the spearhead succulent Senecio. They have this really cool fuzzy plant too. Or succulent, sorry. 
They have a lot of string of buttons. And these are for $4.98. Here's the cacti. Grafted cacti. And then over here we have this plant. I forgot the name. I know it's like a weird name. Hawaiian tea. It's just so pretty though. I love the pink on the edges. Right. And that was pretty much all for like the hanging baskets. It's all pretty much the same on the other side. So, but I do want to say if you guys are like interested in finding a Brazil with like some silver splash in it, like even this one has it, um, you might want to come grab it. I'll link below what Home Depot I'm at. Oh, and then this ivy, too. All right, and the house, the smaller house plants, this is their selection right now. They have some syngoniums, the white form. These are always so pretty. They have some little crotons. They have waffle plants. Philodendron. They have Creeping Charlie or Creeping Fig. Yeah, Creeping Fig. Mm, they have Pink Fetonia and Pink Waffles. And they even have smaller Rabbit's Foot Fern. And they have Purple Passion. More ferns. And these are in 3.5 inch pots for, oh, I'm trying to see. Wow, there's no price, hold on. Oh, $4.98. It's in Spathophyllum. They even have small Tritoscantia. Ooh, that one's blooming. Oh, I want to show y'all. I can grab it. There's some, they're like stuffed in here. That's how packed and full of inventory they are. Check out. That's what a Tratoscantia bloom looks like. That's so cute. <gasps> oh, and then this random begonia here. And then look, they have rattlesnake plants. How fun. These are for $14.98. And then they also have this awesome prayer plant or Miranda plant. I forgot the name, technical, oh, peacock plant. And the brand that sells these are Vig Vigoro. Look at me with soil all over. But how pretty, they only have two. Yay. And a bunch of rattlesnake. They have some little fiddles with huge leaves. And then they also have these big pots of ZZ plants. How cool would it be to have a raven ZZ in a pot like this? Like that's the goal. That's what I want my mind to look like. And I wanna share this pot. Look how cute it is. It's like a green color, but there's no drainage hole for $12.97 or $98 but they have a lot of cute pots actually <gasps> oh look how cute this one is it looks like wicker <gasps> this one looks so cute in my apartment and it has a drainage hole oh how much is this one handmade 6 inch hold on I'm going to try to find the price of this okay I'm hopping around to the bigger succulents but look they have that little 
um, paddle plant. It's a variegated paddle plant. And these are for $24.98. And then they have these bunny ears. They have these little cacti. Oh, look, you got four. What is it? Toothpick cactus. Oh, this one's blooming. There's some old man here. Alright guys, so we just finished at Home Depot. It was so fun. Oh my gosh, they had some really cool surprises in there. Like that philodendron Brazil with some cream splash. Like that was really cool. I mean, see, like when you're house plant shopping, you have to really inspect your plants because you never know. You might be missing something and then you don't even you know see it and you can't appreciate it but yeah that's what makes nature so amazing like there's little surprises here and there but anyways i just drove down the street from that home depot to walmart and i peeked their garden center and they look like they have a lot of house plants so i'm gonna go ahead and swing on in and take y'all with me if there's anything worth showing and if not we will go somewhere else all right so a no negative they didn't have any house plants they or they did spare spare amounts but they had a lot of outdoor plants so the dracenas i saw i thought were the plethora of house plants but now we're gonna go somewhere else so yeah let's go all right so we're inside those these are the bigger house plants that they have today they have these awesome sensevaria plants and they're going for 16.98 they have some philodendron xanadu i believe it's such a cute leaf and then they have these Dracaena plants. They have fiddly fig, yucca canes. And these are going for $14.98. It's probably about two feet high. They have part or majesty palms. These Dracaenas, I think. They're called Dracaenas. They're going for $14.98, but these are pretty tall. They're like probably three or four feet. Three and a half feet. I'd say three and a half feet. Some giant majesty palms. And they have some croutons. They have these Dracaena marginatas. And a bird of paradise. These giant leaves. They have ponytail palms as well. And then more Majesty Palm, more Dracaenas, and uh, this Marginata, or er, yeah, I think it's the Marginata. They have Philodendron Birkin, Fiddle Leaves, Orchids. Someone broke something. Uh oh. They have more orchids. Bromeliads. And these beautiful pots. Always make sure to put the strings in. Top tip. That's the way they can get watered. And then they have some of these photonias up here. Oh, they have moondrop um, chiffleras. More croutons. Oh, they have the um, darker syngonians. Ooh. 
begonia plants. They have this curly fig plant, which is humongous. And then they also have this beautiful one here. They call it a sunny ficus pumilla. It's so pretty. It looks like a snow bush. And then they have ivies and ferns. More ivies. Oh, and then I have this one Tradescantia that I saw Ashley and Anita talking about. Um, it looks like an ivy from far, but if you look really close, you can tell it has kind of like the growth pattern of a Tradescantia. But here they just call it beautiful home decor. Oh, and then check this out. They have a Hawaiian spider plant. This is so pretty. I kind of want it. I've been waiting to see one of these. It's been a couple years since I've seen one. And that's going for $13.98. They have little bamboos. Some air plants. Look, and then they have another one. How pretty, and it's putting out a shoot. And over here they have a bonnie spider plant. Ooh, they have some uh, potos in a terracotta pot by Urban Jungle. Oh, they have one maculata left. And down here it looks like they have a peperomia. that's gonna go ahead and conclude today's video um i did want to get so many things like i wanted that hawaiian spider plant and i also wanted um oh i want a big snake plant i have like an empty space in my um living room that needs a plant i think um but it's really low light over there so i really am wanting to get like a big plant that's low light it's either gonna be or i think it has to be well I don't know if you this is a question for y'all if y'all have any suggestions as far as pet friendly because my dog she's still training <laughs> but um she kind of chews on things when she's bored and i just want to know of a good big low light pet friendly house plant if you have any suggestions please leave them in the comment down below and also if you don't know any go ahead and still leave a comment and tell me what plant you would have picked up if you're here shopping with me today but yeah that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a big like to support my channel and go ahead and subscribe while you're at it if you're into planty things because that's what this channel is all about and i'll see y'all in the next one bye